For 2012, a new version of every competing nation's national anthem is needed. At Abbey Road Studios, the London Philharmonic Orchestra are following in the Beatles' footsteps. They're here to record 205 brand new arrangements. In charge of the project is the man conducting the orchestra, Philip Shepherd. Philip is Professor of Music at the Royal Academy of Music in London. He has to rearrange and edit all the anthems for the winner's ceremonies. The anthems serve a particular purpose at the Olympics, that is, namely to get the flag up the pole during the gold medal ceremonies. And with some of the anthems, it was a case of having to actually crop them down quite drastically. For instance, Uruguay is about six and a half minutes long, and really we only have about a minute to a minute and a half to get the flag up the pole and then for it to finish. In the case of Uganda, they've got a beautiful anthem, but it's only nine bars long. <laughs> I mean, it's a very sweet piece of music. So with the anthem, what I had to do with that is build a set of variations on it. So I basically had it so the tune comes around three times. In North London, Philip and his sound engineer, Jake Jackson, are remixing the recordings he made with the LPO. Number 701 is the newly lengthened Ugandan anthem. Listening to that, you wouldn't necessarily think it's the same piece of music three times in a row. I'm sure we'll have an argument about it being repeated. You know, but we'll just come back and say, well, you, know, you need to get the flag up. So <laughs> it'll, it'll be fine. Getting the anthems approved is the final stage in Philip's work. But if any are rejected, he'll have to start all over again. This is terrifying. This is like reading your own level results. Yeah. <laughs> Uganda has approved. Good. I mean, ride the trumpet here. Yeah. Britain haven't approved yet. I do hope that we hear the uh, the GB anthem many, many times. I did an interview with an Australian uh, drive time show, sort of down the phone. And the, the the man at the other end of the line said, uh, "We've we've had a number of texts uh, for you and." Um, Basically, the gist of them is don't spend any time on the Great British one because you're not going to hear it anyway. I beg to differ. <laughs>